Many people all around the world have a fear of flying, and it's easy to see why. Human beings don't have wings, so when we want to take to the air, we have to climb aboard a machine and hope that the machine we're flying won't fall out of the sky before it reaches its destination. The overwhelming majority of flights go smoothly, but that's not always the case, as you're about to see here in this fantastic collection of incredible incidents involving airplanes. This first incident involves huge planes turning up somewhere they have no business being, and for frightening reasons. In mid-2019, two Boeing 737 MAX crashes led to the entire class of aircraft being grounded as a precaution, and there isn't enough space to store that many planes and hangars that led to their owners having to find some unconventional places to put them, including a regular car park in Washington. With nowhere else to turn, TUI had to park this plane in the staff car parking lot where it took up an incredible 36 spaces. Now that's bad news for anybody who usually parks in any of those spaces, but can you imagine trying to ask the pilot of a plane to move up and get out of your space? We rarely see planes in situations like this, and when we do, it gives us a sense of scale so we can see how enormous these beasts truly are. Boeing had to repeat this scenario all over the world while the crashes were investigated, leading to repeats of this situation and some great once-in-a-lifetime photographs. For all of their technical sophistication, planes are quite delicate. If they're struck by something on the ground or in the air, it can damage them so severely that they can't fly for weeks. Of all the things you might think a plane could hit, a buffalo probably wouldn't be one of them. Yet it was a buffalo that grounded this SpiceJet Boeing 737-800 plane in India in 2014. The flight was about to take off from Surat when it collided with a stray buffalo that had dashed out into the runway. The pilot slammed on the brakes and fortunately nobody aboard the plane was injured, but the damage to the aircraft meant that it was unable to re-attempt takeoff and all 146 passengers on board had to be moved to another flight. While some people found the incident amusing, the CEO of SpiceJet didn't see anything to laugh about. He feels that a gap in the perimeter fencing wide enough to allow a buffalo through is inexcusable and promised to address the accident with security staff at the airport thoroughly. Not every incident you see in this video is an accident or a disaster. Some of them are just phenomenal events that have to be seen to be believed. In March 2018, Hamad International Airport in Qatar hosted a one-off race as a Formula E racing car driven by Jerome de Abrazio took on two high-speed planes. The rules were simple. To win the race, all the car had to do was remain ahead of the aircraft until the plane took off into the air. In its first race against an Airbus A350, the plane proved to be the superior speed machine. The Formula E race car held its own for a long time, but the final push of acceleration before takeoff from the Airbus took it into the lead and away it went into the sky. Undeterred, the car turned around and prepared to take on a Boeing 787 Dreamliner, and this time it was determined to do better. The car and the plane were neck and neck as the end of the runway approached but ultimately, the plane slipped behind the car as its nose pointed towards the sky, and the car proved to be superior. We suppose we'll have to call this battle of planes versus cars a draw. All planes have a shelf life, and when they reach the end of that shelf life, it's time for them to retire and either be scrapped or go into storage. But this 30-year-old Boeing 767 isn't like most. A wealthy Irish businessman called David McCowan had been on the lookout for a plane like this to become an unorthodox hotel at his luxury camping venue, and when he found it, he was determined to have it shipped to him, even if it couldn't fly. Nobody would give the plane a license to fly again, so there was only one thing for it. It would have to travel by sea. This is a plane that thinks it's a boat. The 50-ton jet was carefully strapped to a massive barge after being lifted into place by a giant crane and made its way across the water from Shannon to Sligo. The wings had to be stripped off the plane in order for the project to work, 
but don't worry, they were reattached once it arrived safely at its destination. We've already seen that there are many things that can ground a flight, and we've already seen a buffalo stop a flight in India. But this next flight cancellation might be the strangest of all time. In 2018, a flight between Dubai and Amsterdam was already in the air when the pilot had to make the difficult call to end the flight early and attempt an emergency landing. And it was all because of an unpleasant bout of flatulence on board. The guilty party has never been named, but according to reports, he repeatedly and loudly broke wind on the flight, ignoring all requests for him to stop. Two passengers next to him eventually became bored of his smelly gusts and the situation turned into a fistfight. Obviously, a fistfight on board a packed passenger plane is a hazardous situation, and when the fight couldn't be stopped, the flight made an unplanned landing in Vienna, Austria. The police were called, and four people in total were arrested. We don't know if breaking wind on a flight is a criminal offense, but we suppose someone must have found out that day. You'd like to think that a modern plane is built robustly enough to survive a coffee being spilled inside it, but that depends on where the coffee is spilled. When a pilot spilled a coffee inside the cockpit of an Airbus A33243 flying into Mexico in September of 2019, it resulted in an emergency landing. The coffee was handed to the pilot without a lid attached to it, and it spilled out, pouring into the audio control panel. A few moments later, smoke filled the cockpit and there was a strong smell of burning. That was enough for the pilot to determine that it was no longer safe to continue the flight, so he brought his plane down in Shannon Airport in the Republic of Ireland. By the time the plane reached the ground, the entire communication system was inoperable, and one of the buttons on the soaked control panel had melted. It's thought that the member of the cabin crew who handed the pilot the drink ended up in more trouble than the pilot did, although Condor, the airline involved, were less than pleased about the whole situation because of the inconvenience it caused to their 326 passengers. In what must have been a terrifying situation, passengers on a Boeing 757 flying from Amritsar in India to Birmingham in England found themselves held hostage and then effectively robbed by their own airline in 2011. While the plane was in the air, Austrian airline Comtel Air allegedly ran out of money. When it touched down for a planned stopover in Vienna, the 100 people on board were told that the plane would only continue to fly if they could afford to pay $25,000 between them for fuel. If they couldn't, they and all of their luggage would be removed from the plane and they would be stranded in Austria. Some passengers even reported being escorted to ATMs by security staff and forced to withdraw cash. Eventually, the plane completed the journey after several of the passengers wrote promissory notes confirming they would contribute to the fare, but unsurprisingly, the matter ended up in the hands of the police after several of the people who'd written the notes complained that they'd done so under extreme duress. No matter how advanced the technology on board an airplane is, human errors can still cause significant problems. It was a human error that saw a Boeing 747 Dreamliner somehow manage to wedge itself into a tiny airport in Kansas in 2013, eight miles from its intended destination. Jabara Airport, Wichita, was forced to welcome the surprise guest when the pilot of the plane became confused about which airport he was supposed to land at. He was aiming for McConnell Air Force Base, but it's thought that the two airports have similar runways, so he chose the wrong one. Having landed, it had extreme difficulty taking off again because the runway was 3,000 feet too short for it to execute its standard takeoff procedure. It took 10 hours to manually turn the plane around and drag it into position for attempted takeoff but it eventually managed to get back into the air and touch down at the correct destination 15 minutes later. The pilot's only explanation was that he couldn't read his own handwriting in the cockpit and therefore made an error of judgment when looking at the ground. We don't imagine that went down too well with his superiors. Usually when a plane is empty and standing on the tarmac, it's locked up 
so nobody can get on board and do any harm to themselves or others. Someone failed to lock up the passenger plane Horizon Air Q400 at Seattle-Tacoma International Airport in August 2018, and that failure had tragic consequences. A mechanic named Richard Russell, 29 years old, married but apparently dissatisfied with his life, boarded the plane and took it into the sky for an illegal joyride. Fighter jets were scrambled to intercept the stolen aircraft, and air traffic control urged Richard to bring it back down to the ground, but the mechanic had no flight training and didn't know how. He told air traffic control he had no intention of landing, performed a barrel roll, and looped the loop, then crashed the plane on a small island where it exploded. Unfortunately, the troubled man lost his life in the incident. The only small mercy in the whole sad story is that nobody else was either in the plane or on the island when the aircraft came crashing down, so nobody else was hurt. A swarm of bees flying into the engine of a plane at altitude could potentially cause it to stop working, so we should probably be thankful that when 20,000 of them decides to make a Mango Airlines plane engine in Durban, South Africa their new home, the plane was on the ground at the time. Even then, it stopped the plane from flying for several hours and meant the airport had to call upon a team of bee specialists to persuade them to leave. The aircraft had been on the runway for less than three hours before the problem was noticed, so the swarm must have moved quickly. As well as the plane directly affected, three other scheduled passenger flights from King Shaka International Airport were delayed because of the practical problems caused by the plane being stationary on the runway. The story has a happy ending. All of the bees were safely evacuated and were taken in by a local beekeeper before being transported to a more suitable home on farms within the region. You've almost certainly heard of U.S. Airways Flight 1549. You just know it better as the Miracle on the Hudson, an incredible emergency landing on the Hudson River in America during 2009. A trio of Canadian geese kicked off the drama when they flew into the engine of an Airbus A320 while it was in the air, damaging the engine and causing a power failure aboard the plane. It couldn't have happened in a worse area. The flight was passing directly above New York City, with all 155 people on the plane in serious danger. The brave pilot, Chelsea Sullenberger, knew his options were limited and his time was running out. There was no chance that the plane would make it to the airport. It was descending too rapidly and he couldn't stop the descent. Fortunately for everyone on the plane and everyone in New York City that day, Chelsea was a former fighter pilot with the U.S. Air Force and knew how to land a plane safely on the water. He brought the flight down for a splash landing and was rightfully hailed as a hero by the press and the government. The miracle on the Hudson was an American good news story, but this tale is a little more embarrassing for the USA. Of all the warplanes available to them, the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is one of the most advanced and expensive. F-35s have survived countless encounters with America's enemies, but in 2019, one of them barely escaped a collision with a tiny bird. As the plane was taking off from a runway in Japan, the bird struck the aircraft and the takeoff had to be aborted. Although the military was understandably reluctant to release many details, the incident was designated as a Class A, which means that a minimum of $2 million worth of damage was done to the plane and it will require extensive repairs before it can fly again. Apparently, if you or your country are under attack from American warplanes, your best hope of survival is to release a flock of angry birds at them and let them go to work. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.